Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to talk about HME uh, iStation N um, pager transmitter and how to set the time and do some initial setups and the password and everything. So this is the HME iStation N series and the model trade name is uh, integration station and uh, FCC ID is WDC iStation N, and this is how it looks like. So, I will be talking about this and how to get into the setup and everything. All right, so here's how we do it the first thing you need to do if you want to page someone, obviously, you enter the pager number 22 and then you hit send. And it pages that guest. This is for a restaurant where you would like guests to be paged when their table is ready. So basically, at the current moment, we have the virus outbreak. Most restaurants are closed. So this isn't as popular. But once we are back in business and all the restaurants are open, these will come in handy. So how do we set these up? First thing you need to do is you press setup. When you press setup, it's going to ask you for password. HME and uh, most dealers will not give you the password easily. You're going to have to search for it. But uh, it's simple. The password is 1379. So that is the password. And then you hit enter. Once you hit enter, here it's self-explanatory. To set time, you need to press um, uh, enter. Uh, or if you want to advance to the next step, you have to click menu so obviously I would like to set the time so I'm gonna hit enter so now enter hour from 1 to 12 currently it's 12 so I'm gonna hit it 12 okay and then I'm gonna hit enter now it says enter minutes from 0 to 59 let's see it's 40 it's 1240 right now and then I'm gonna hit enter now it says enter 1 for a.m. and 2 for p.m. It's past midnight. It's a.m. So I'm going to hit 1 and enter. So it's telling me, is that correct? Press enter to accept and I'm going to accept it. So the time is set. Now we need to go to other menus. So we're going to press menu. Here it says set sleep time. What time you want it to sleep if you want this unit to sleep. But if you don't... You simply, if you want to set it the time to sleep, you you hit enter to accept. Currently, it's off. And uh, if you want to add, uh, go to the next one, you go to the next one. Okay? Uh, so if you want to change, basically, change that, you go select, and now it's on, off. So, all right. Okay, so let's go to next menu. Next menu, do not uh, do range test. If you want to see how far this works, this is how you do the range test. The other one is preset message. Yeah, certain uh, pagers will send a specific message on the screen of the pager. If you want to do that, this is how you do it. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Set pager alert you want it to vibrate in the flash the LEDs if you want to do that or you want it to only flash the LED press select or if you want it to flash and beep or if you want it to flash vibrate and beep all together I think that's the best one because you don't want the guests to miss your call so I'm going to accept that one all right uh, okay so set pager alert uh, are all pagers returned? Press yes. If oh, but by the way, the pagers must be in the ch charging dock to do that. So, so you have enter. So right now it's sending the message to the pagers that are in the dock. They have to be there. Since I don't have uh, the thing, I'm going to disregard that. Don't have to worry about it. Okay. So set alert time. Currently it's at 120. You could change it to 180, uh, continuous. You can change it to 8 seconds. That's up to you. Now if you choose continuous, the guests will come to your table and they, the pager will continuously ring until you take it from their hands and put it back in the charging dock. However, if you want it to be 
uh, turned off automatically then you could choose the number of seconds that the pager will to automatically turn off I recommend the continuous because uh, if the guests miss it uh, some bars and restaurants are very very noisy and the guest could always claim and say you know what I didn't hear the pager or I didn't notice or I didn't I, I, I didn't uh, hear it or didn't look at it I didn't look at it to see the LEDs and I didn't even feel the vibration so I mean a, a guest have to be completely uh, like f nearly falling asleep on you to not notice any of the three signs but then you can leave it to continuous uh, to let it be continuous so accept press enter to accept okay enter sending the message wait alert at a time so it's basically right now transmitting it to the base uh, to all the pagers and there you go now it's uh, duty alert uh, pager number one you could choose the pa pager number to whom you want to uh, send a duty alert and out of range uh, message you could do on or off for example the on and off is that if the guests walk away it it, it, they, it gives some type of a message that saying to the guest that you're out of range it's very good to set it to on because if the guest sees that the restaurant is too busy and they decide to go home sometimes they forget to return the pager but once they sit in their in their car the pager will beep and let them know that it's out of range and that's when they will realize that oh whoops I didn't return the pager they come out of the car and walk to the restaurant and hand in the pager back to the uh, you know guest services or uh, front desk okay so that's that all right so now this is a password you could change the password if you wanted to and that's it so I'm going to cancel that so now I'm going to show you the network setup now the network setup has a different password okay so if you want to do a network setup oh let's first first put the password for network setup you have to put 6629 6629 that is the standard default password then you hit enter now it tells you what's the MAC address and then you press menu to advance IP address you press menu to advance set lesson port the port 4000 uh, subnet mask that's for networking gateway IP all of those you could set a TCP IP password which is the one I just entered and so on these are the network setup is for those who are advanced user and installers who want to set up the pager for the restaurant owner to understand what's going on in his restaurant how many guests are waiting how many have been uh, uh, seated and things like that so yeah basically that's the most important thing is those two passwords that you need to know another thing I would like to mention that a lot of these are uh, uh, out there for sale and they don't have the AC adapter or a lot of people uh, they lose the AC adapter and they don't know what kind of AC adapter it takes because HME didn't write on the back what volts what polarity and what current the AC adapter has so I pu put out uh, printed a sticker that tells you that the AC adapter is 12 volts and it's a 4 amp and the center is positive the polarity is tip positive so basically uh, that's the type of AC adapter you need for this thank you very much for watching I hope this video was educational please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you